here's something most people don't understand. Uh, everybody agrees that our entitlement programs are in trouble. By entitlement programs, I mean Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, the disability program. Uh, we take in taxes, we pay benefits. But um, looking forward into the future, we promise a lot more than we're going to take in in taxes and dedicated revenue. Uh, Bill Clinton thought this was a problem. Barack Obama said it's a problem. George Bush said it's a problem. So why can't we solve it? I think one of the reasons we can't solve it is because both Republicans and Democrats in Congress are totally focused on what I call eat your spinach reforms. Eat your spinach means somebody loses. So we're going to raise the age of eligibility, we're going to raise premiums, we're going to change the inflation indexing. What do all these things do? They cut benefits. That's bad for seniors. Or we're going to raise the payroll tax that, that young people pay. That's bad for young people. So someone's always losing under an eat your spinach reform. Uh, what I want to propose instead is a win-win reform. Win-win means everybody comes out ahead. The senior comes out ahead, young people come out ahead. It turns out that there are all kinds of opportunities for win-win reforms in every aspect of the federal government. Uh, everywhere I look, I see opportunities to do something that would literally make everybody better off. But where we at the Goodman Institute are primarily focused is on the entitlement reforms, Medicare, Social Security. Is there a way to do this? Yes, there is. Uh, we know that we cannot afford all of the benefits we have promised in the future. So we've got to say to young people, look, you're not going to get everything that uh, your father, your grandfather got under these programs. But we're going to do something for you. We're going to allow you to put money aside that will more than make up for any cuts we have to make in government spending. And if you keep this money in account and you have money there for retirement, have money there for post-retirement medical care, uh, you're going to have something secure, something that you own. And we believe that proposals like this will get widespread acceptance by the young. They don't threaten the elderly. They don't threaten the taxpayer. It, it involves no new spending, involves no new taxes. That's what I mean by win-win. And we believe we can do this in every one of our entitlement programs. Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, disability program, unemployment insurance, workers' comp. In every place we look, we find there are opportunities for huge savings. You know, the entitlement program started in the 20th century, and they started because of a change in the way we're living our lives. Up until about 1900, going all the way back to the Garden of Eden, uh, families were the insurance plan for most people. So if you grow too old to be able to support yourself, you become disabled, you need medical care, you out of a job because of unemployment, you relied on family members to support you. Uh, I tried to explain that to my daughter for many, many years. I never was very successful. Well, beginning about the turn of the century, uh, 100 years ago or so, uh, we began to see family ties breaking down. Uh, so people could no longer rely on families for these kinds of support. Uh, they began to move apart, uh, the relationships changed, and they found that they could not easily in the private marketplace buy insurance for these kinds of risks, so they turned to government. So we get to the end of the 20th century, we have all these government programs, they're not working very well. We have unfunded liabilities, we have perverse incentives, that gives us now in the 21st century an opportunity to redo all of that in a better way, the win-win way. Take a close look at what we're proposing. I think you're going to like it.